Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I told you guys I was coming back with something really good. Today I'm going to be doing some beef enchiladas. Yay! So let's get started. And also after I'm done, um, I'm going to update you guys on some things. So, um, you know, you'll know what's going on as far as you know, me pumping out my videos and why I don't pump them out as often as I would love to. And I know that you guys would like for me to, but it's a reason why I don't. But I'll talk about that after. Let's get into this though. Now, you know, I like to, you know, pre-do certain things so we don't have to spend a whole lot of time talking. Okay. So what I've done is I have started cooking my ground beef because... I needed to drain it. That's very important and that's very key to cooking your meat like this. You need to drain the fat that it produces afterwards. So, not only that, but I have already cut up some black olive that I'm going to be using and my green onions that I'm going to be using. And we're also going to be using some minced garlic in our meat and the seasonings I'm going to be using very very simple some regular old Lowry's some granulated onion some granulated garlic and some black pepper oh and I'm gonna use a little bit of these little chopped onions I like these I didn't feel like um doing any regular onions so these will work because I have the green onions as well but anyway, so let's get started. Oh, oh, before I forget, this is the enchilada sauce that we will be using. And this is mild. They do have different, um, they have a hot. I think they have a regular amount and then a hot. I got them up. So, and this red sauce. I have that here in the bowl. Okay, everything is laid out. Let's get started. Turn my meat back on. Like I said, I was already in the process of um, cooking the meat because it was starting to produce um, some fat. And I wanted to go ahead and get that, you know, drained out because it's really messy sometimes if you're not careful. <clears throat> and again, that's very, very important, you guys. Make sure you drain, excuse me, you drain the grease once you're done or while you're cooking it if it's too much because sometimes when it produces too much while you're cooking it it slows down the um cooking process and it's just cooking in a bunch of grease so you want to just go ahead and drain that and then again you know it depends on the percentage of fat the fat percentage in the meat that you choose to purchase that's also up to you you know what i'm saying i don't remember what this one was but yeah, anyway. So, I have already added my seasonings. I'm going to add a little more because, <clears throat> excuse me, while I was doing it, it still has some fat in there. So, most of that got drained out. But what we're doing is we're basically just browning our meat. That's what I'm doing currently. And I wanted to show you guys something really quick, too, because this is a very important step in making your enchiladas, okay? Now, you know we're going to be cooking with tortillas. These are corn tortillas. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you cook them first, please. And I can't stress this enough. Do not make your enchiladas with your um, tortillas not cooked. That's weird, and it's gross, and it's not going to come out right. So, also, what you want to make sure you don't do is cook them to the point where they're this crispy. You remember, you're either going to be rolling them traditionally or layer them however you choose to do them. We're going to be layering them. But you want it to be limp like that. You know what I'm saying? Real quick fry. That's it. Okay, so... Like I said, um, I'm going to be adding some more meat, I mean some more seasoning into this meat here. Just a little bit. Nothing too crazy. And 
And again, the um, seasonings that I'm using is Lowry's seasoning salt. Some chopped onions. Let me put those in here now. Oh, you know what I wanted to add to? Just a little poquito. Some red pepper flakes. So, again, the black pepper. I'm about to drain this again. It's producing some more grease. So, we're going to drain that out. This is the granulated onion. And this is the granulated garlic. Now remember when you're cooking your food, you season your food to your taste, okay? That's what you do. Because I don't measure, you know, I just know when to stop. <laughs> and that just comes with, you know, years of cooking and practice. And you just know. But, um, yeah. If you aren't that well at that yet, then, you know, do it slowly to the taste. Well, there's actually nothing for me to drain, which is good. So, we have our meat. You see how the meat is all nice and brown? That's what we want. Listen, enchiladas, you're basically cooking everything beforehand. The oven part is just to really melt your cheese. And that's it. <laughs> I mean, to be perfectly honest, that's really all you're doing is melting the cheese that you're, you know, adding on top or whatever. But no, you have to let it all cook together just for a minute. But it doesn't take long at all because you're already cooking everything basically beforehand. So, okay, so the next step, our meat is nice and brown. I'm going to add in some of my minced garlic this is totally up to you but i'm telling you you will love it just trust me if you don't like garlic i understand but i'm telling you put some garlic in your food Oh, and you guys, my hair, I'm um, retwisting my locks. So that's why I look cute. But, you know, that's what's going on. Also, now we're going to add some black olives. Just a little bit. Because you want those for your garnish also. And some onion. Just a little, because we're also using that for the garnish. Now let's add some of this red sauce. Now I only used um, about a third. So I use a um, just a little bit, a third of the um, sauce here from out of the can because we're going to need the rest of it to um, pour over later once we, you know, put it put everything together. You don't you don't want it to be your meat to be all soupy, like that's that's good. You feel me? And we're gonna 
gonna let that cook into the meat a little. gonna turn this off it's time to get the liner in this is the fun part this is where the magic happens different cheeses, I have some Mexican blend cheese, and I have some sharp cheddar cheese also that I'm going to be using to layer the tortillas. And we still have our black olives and our green onions that we're also going to be using. Put those over there. Okay. So here's our tortilla. You know what? No, that's this is a bad angle. Let me get adjusted, you guys, really, really, really quick. I don't like that angle. That's better. That's better. Okay, let's move everything over here. Now y'all can see what's going on. We want you to be able to see. Okay. This is going to move everything over here. And put my meat. Oi. Oi. That was hot. Okay. did here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So the reason I um pour the enchilada sauce in the pan, in the bowl because I dip them as I'm layering them. Okay. have some music in the background now. Excuse me for a moment. See, this is how you know that this is not a game because I'm about to go upstairs and yell at my son now because he's obviously interrupting my YouTube video. So, I'll be right back. As real as it's going to get. Listen, okay? I'm not here to be cute, pretty, whatever. I'm trying to teach y'all how to cook, okay? I just had to go yell at my son because he interrupted my video. Like, that's just ridiculous. Okay, so anyway, let's get back to this. So, like I said, I like to um, 
dip my tortillas in the uh, enchilada sauce as I'm layering in them. Now, I'm not doing this the traditional way, you guys. Sorry, but that's too much. I'm not rolling. I'm not doing that. I'm teaching you guys something different. If you want to roll them, that is completely up to you. It's just more work. And it's going to taste the same. I'm just saying. My mommy taught me this a long time ago. Work smarter, not harder. Just saying. But anyway. So you have your first layer there. You see that? You want to keep everything like basically as wet as possible. You don't want any dry enchiladas. I know I don't. What you can do also, and sometimes I do that also, is I get some sauce and I put it at the bottom of the pan first and then, you know, swish it around and cover the whole bottom of the pan and then still dip. You know, that way I know that it won't be dry. You don't want them too soupy, but you definitely don't want them dry. Okay? So, and then this is it. You start adding your meat. I'm about to get another spoon. <laughs> this is not scooping good enough for me. Okay. You want to spread that out. See, I'm spreading it, spreading it out. I just want to make sure you guys can sleep. Okay. And so, then you get the cheese. cheese as you go as you layer basically you're adding as you're adding cheese as you layer now we're going to repeat the process dip cover dip Listen, cooking is fun, especially when you get to cook, like be messy like this and use your hands. This is what this is when I enjoy it the most because you really getting in there. You know what I mean? Keep it clean, but still, this is the best way. So now on this layer of tortilla, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Add some green onions, some black olives, and now I'm going to add another layer of meat. You dig? This is quick, fun, and simple and delicious. Listen to what I tell you. I'm going to um, be doing some chicken ones next. So stay tuned for that. That's actually way more tedious than these. These are definitely easier to make, quicker and easier to make than the chicken. But the chicken, oh my goodness, trust me, that work is definitely worth all of that okay wash my hands y'all know how i'm over around okay now we're gonna add more cheese ahead and do three layers. I think that'd be fun. Yep, I'm 
gonna do three layers. You can add as much cheese as you want to, but I don't wanna overkill on the cheese, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have some tortillas left over and all I'm gonna do is freeze them. <laughs> That's it. So, listen. Make your food work for you. It's pretty quiet. Okay. I'm also going to add... This is actually good because I'm only needing to use one can of the enchilada sauce i hate having to open up a whole nother can because i just need a little bit more they do have smaller cans that you can purchase but sometimes you still don't even need that much so this is actually coming out really really good and i think it's because you know what i'm saying i'm able to be able to bless you guys to show you how to make this you know what i mean i'm being sarcastic but i'm being for real at the same time I'm being funny but I'm serious. I usually need to open the can. <laughs> and it's so annoying because then it's like, what the hell am I finna do with the rest of this enchilada sauce? Seriously. But anyway, I digress. And here we are. This is our last and final layer, you guys. But you guys see how simple this is? It's really nothing to cooking. I'm telling you, cooking is fun. And I will continue to show you guys how to do it as long as I can. Thank you, Mom. Appreciate it. I learned from the best, y'all. For real, for real. We'll get to all of this mess in a minute. Hate it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's like a pet peeve. I gotta clean as I go. But um, okay. So for our last and final row. Get out the park. Yes. 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 Now. This is our last layer, you guys. See how beautiful that's coming out? Oh, I might not have any tortillas left over after all. I mean, I do, but guess what? You gonna make it work. We don't need nothing. We don't need nothing left over. And then you just put the rest of this sauce on top. This is perfect. So this is what it looks like so far. One more step. Turn your oven on. My oven should have been on, but turn your oven on. And then for the last and final step, you're going to put the rest of your cheese on top.
Now we're just garnishing. The top. And voila. We are done, you guys. Listen, we are done, honey. Look at this. Now, tell me. You just put it in the oven, and like I said, once your cheese is all nice and melted to your liking, that's it. You have made beef enchiladas. And they're three layers. How dope is that? Okay. All that rolling, unnecessary. Okay. So, I am glad I was able to bring this video to you guys. Now, oh, let me wash my hands. Because, like I said earlier, before I end my video, I just want to say something. Okay. And also, it's giving me time to allow my oven to um, finish heating up. I was going to hold it, but I'm not going to do all that. Okay, so we're done. We have made beef enchiladas. And again, I'm going to have everything that I use, the ingredients, description, everything will be at the bottom. Um, yeah, so again, thank you. I appreciate you guys super, super much for um, following me and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, but let's get into what I want to talk to you guys about really quick. I'm not going to take long. Um, I know that you, uh, a lot of you would love for me to pump out more videos than I do. And I would too. And I um, um, appreciate that you follow me, you know. But I do want to apologize that sometimes I'm not able. And I'm going to share with you why. And that's because um, a lot of you don't know. Some of you do that um early this year in march i was in a really bad car accident um my car was total i was in the car during the impact so um it really left me injured physically um i had some back problems prior to but the accident you know really just damaged my back to the point to where now I need back surgery. So sometimes I can't stand here for a long amount of time or sometimes I just can't stand at all. So that's what I go through, you know, and, you know, it gets me down a little bit and depressed because, you know, hell, I can't, you know, I don't have mobility like I want, you know, and should in my body. But just pray for me. I appreciate that. And But I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, just in case you were wondering why I don't push them out as much. But that's why. Sometimes I just can't. But I appreciate you guys to the fullest. Trust me, I do. Um, and anytime that I can come and make a video, trust me, I will. When I say I'm going to make a video, I'm going to make a video. I don't play. But again, thank you so, so much for subscribing to my channel, for rocking with me, for, you know, all the wonderful comments that I get, the love and everything, you know, I appreciate that to the fullest. I'm still new at this, but I'm me and I'm going to do it the way I do it. You did? But thank you. I appreciate it. And it's all love.